Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and this time with another session of Q&A. Ugh, so many questions and so little time in one video. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who are new here, um, instead of putting music over this video, I'll be answering some questions uh, that I've received from all of you. Um, so I'm going to get right into it and continue right where I left off. So here we go. Question 8. Do other people inspire you? <laughs> of course, uh, everything is inspiration to me. Like seeing other artists' works make me want to try harder with my own. Uh, when I see an amazing artist, I'm like, wow! Like how much knowledge and experience they must have to create something like so wonderful. Um, you know, and it makes me excited to push myself further and improve my own art, so that someday I can create art that is just as beautiful. Um, it may just be a dream, but other artists give me the inspiration to do my best, as I assume they do from looking at their amazing art. Uh, I don't try to be better than them by any means. Um, that is not what I mean by, you know, trying to advance myself. I don't, I'm not, definitely not trying to prove that I'm better than them. Um, but seeing their art makes me, it makes me want to push myself to do my personal best and to grow as an artist. Question 9. Do you watch other artists on YouTube? Yes, absolutely. My goodness. Um, watching artists on YouTube was part of what inspired me to make a YouTube channel of my own. Um, Zed Kitty Zed and Mark Crilly were some of um, my main inspirations, of course, as is probably everyone on YouTube that draws anime and manga. Um, of course, but there are many others too. Uh, if you go to my channel, you can see a list of some of my favorite artists on YouTube. They are all so amazing and I love seeing all of their work. Question 10. What is your favorite and least favorite brand of paper to use with colored pencils? Uh, the cool thing about colored pencils is that any type of paper you use doesn't really matter so much as long as it's not highly textured. I myself can use either really thick and sometimes expensive bristol paper or really cheap and thin and kind of crappy <laughs> printer paper, um, but both of which have a very smooth surface. Um, so my least favorite paper is kind of any with lots of texture. Uh, it just makes the pencil look so grainy and not smooth. So pretty much as long as whatever paper you're using is free of texture and is very smooth when you run your hand across it, it should be pretty, pretty good for colored pencils as far as I know. Question 11. Will you be doing a tutorial in detail about clothing in the future? Yes, I definitely will. I'll be talking about clothes and cloth folds and where to place them and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll also probably do a tutorial about designing clothes and specific articles of clothing uh, and etc. in the future as well. Question 12. How did you come to use blue and other atypical colors um, for shadows on the skin? <laughs> now this is a good question. Um, typically, I use purple for the darkest shadowed areas on the skin, as I've said in my other tutorial, um, but I also use a number of other colors as well, like blue and pink. Um, really, I started out doing that because I wanted to make deeper shadows for skin without having to use black or brown, um, because they just make it too dark and muddy for my tastes. Um, I wanted something that was more interesting and quite frankly more creative, because anyone can use black for shadows. Um, so I used purple instead of uh, dark brown, which is what I had been using. Um, and I, yeah, I just used purple instead of dark brown one day and just, bam! <laughs> now I use these different colors for shadows, um, just because they give so much more depth and interest um, to a picture than just black and brown would, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, I change what color I use for the shadows depending on what I'm drawing. Um, if I'm drawing a picture with lots of like bluish tones to it, I would probably use a blue for a shadow because it will tie in with the skin color, um, tie in the skin color with a lot of uh, the other aspects of the picture and make it seem more, you know, uh, more as one. The whole picture blends, it, it makes sense. Um, so yeah, you can do this with really any color um, and I think it looks really awesome and it just adds so much like creativity and just interesting appeal to it. Question 13. What is your favorite manga? Oh, this is harder to answer than what is my favorite anime. Really, I tend to prefer reading manga rather than watching anime, so it's even harder to choose. Um, sadly, I haven't read as much manga as I'd like because of a lot of reasons, really. 
Um, however, I still think that my favorite manga will probably always be Fruits Basket. Um, it was the first manga that I ever owned and read, and I still love it so much to this day. <laughs> Despite what I say about loving like very serious and often dark stories, um, I also equally enjoy very touching and very emotional stories like Fruits Baskets. Um, you know, <laughs> plus those beautiful, beautiful bishonens and shotas. Oh. All right, <laughs> let's pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> question 14. How long have you liked Vocaloid? <laughs> that is a good question. You know, I'm not even really sure. Honestly, I can't even really remember like when or why I discovered Vocaloid. I just like love them so much. I don't know. Um, though I think I did discover them about the same time that I started taking drawing uh, seriously. So I guess about three years ago. <laughs> and I've also got the same question too, so in case you're wondering, my favorite Vocaloids are Luca, Len, and Ia. Question 15. What is your all-time favorite anime? Ugh, oh, here we come to this. Ugh. Oh. Honestly, um, I don't have much time to watch anime anymore, so I can't really say about any of the new ones. Um, but if I had to pick one anime that would be my favorite that I've seen, um, I think it would probably have to be Blood Plus. Um, it's kind of older, and I'll be honest, the story isn't like mind-blowingly amazing, um, but I always just really love the characters and the story regardless. Um, I love that it has like a darker side to it as well. Uh, I Like I said before, I really like anime that is a bit uh, serious and has this darker side to it. Question 16, where are you from? Uh, as you can probably tell from my accent that I'm American. Uh, I live in the U.S. and I live in California. Um, I've lived here my entire life and I like it for the most part, though it gets really hot here and it doesn't even snow where I live, which makes me really sad because I love the cold. Question 17. Are you planning on having your own contest in the future? Yes, absolutely. Um, I would love to hold an art contest sometime in the future. Um, I'm working on the concept now, actually, deciding if I want to do it as a YouTube-only contest, or a DeviantArt only, or combined, or something, you know, like that. Um, uh, as well as working on what the theme and the prizes would be. Um, there are many other things to think about when you're making contests, too. Um, since my channel is relatively new, uh, I'd like to take a bit more time planning like my first contest and making sure that everything is like all perfect before I do. Um, plus I really have no idea what the theme should be yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this Watch Me Draw and Q&A session. Um, I'll be back with more soon. Uh, as always, of course, if you have a question for me, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. Um, if I haven't answered your question that you've asked in another video yet, um, don't worry. Uh, chances are I will be in a video in the future. I only have so much time in one video. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!